Back to another episode of this Watford Career Mode. Last episode, we beat Man City 3-1 and then drew to Brentford and Burnley. So, a bit weird how we uh, beat Man City but drew Brentford and Burnley. But a good seven, uh, five points we picked up there. And Palace looked like they were about to have the first chance of the game. But a brilliant tackle for them. I think it was William Trustecong. And um, this game, a bit of a derby. I can't know. I don't really like Palace, no offence. As a has a shot and he puts us 1-0 up against his former club inside three minutes. But no, I can't lie, this is a bit of a derby, Watford and Palace. Not not a proper derby like Watford and Newton, but there is a bit of history. Obviously Will Hughes moved there, he's a snake. Um we signed Eze from him and he puts him 1-0 up and you betcha I was celebrating. I was celebrating. And um yeah, to rub it in Palace fans' face. But we've got it out on the right here. Chicho makes it 2-0. Doubles Watford's lead just inside 19 minutes. But the flag is up. Not going to count. But this is very good football from Watford. Absolutely dominating Palace. But they do have their first chance of the game here inside 20 minutes. Uh, they're out on the left. Uh, they're, gonna, they're playing actually good football here. It's a brilliant save from Ben Foster, but he couldn't quite get the rebound. And Palace have their equaliser. Good football there from Palace. Found an opening. Unlucky from Foster. It was original good save, but um, couldn't quite get the rebound. That is unlucky for me. I can't know. Palace make it one all, and uh, just 26 minutes in. Soon after the the goal, they've got it out on the left. He's absolutely done. I think it was Kiko Firmino. He's going to have a shot going over the bar. Palace are putting on the pressure. This is end to end action. This only half an hour in. Got it out on the right. The Peters guy has absolutely done him. Uh, he's got it to the box. He's played it to Cucho. How has Cucho missed that? He does not miss that from seven yards. He's put it wide. But um, Sissoko's got it here. Who needs Fusey when you got Sissoko? Plays it to Kucho, to Dennis. He plays it to Eze against his football club. He has a shot. It's 2-1. He's second of the game and I was celebrating. Unlucky Palace. <laughs> Just played it into the gap. Had a shot. He's in so much space. And uh, he rubs it in Palace fans' face. They're going to have a shot here. And it's brilliantly headed away by, I think it was like Leto or Samuel, one of the youngsters. Brilliant, brilliant play. Two, still 2-1. Two, Into the second half. Palace, I've got it. It's, it's Schlupp. He has a shot, but a brilliant, brilliant save from Ben Foster. He's kept us in this game, I can't lie. They've got it out on the right. He's going to cross it in. It's headed and saved once again by Ben Foster. What a game he has had. He's got it out on the left. It's Eze against the former club. Plays it to Dennis, to Kucho. This is brilliant football. And it's what for three. Crystal Palace won. Kucho Hernandez with the goal. What a team this is. Brilliant, brilliant football. We found the gap. Kucho, who's... I think he might be up there with the top goal scorers in the league. And look at this. Look at that ball. Kucho has a shot. I re what just what a goal that was. Starting from the pass. And as soon as I passed that, I was like, I have to score this. What a finish that was from Kucho. Was it Eze that made that pass? I can't really remember. What a goal that was. And uh, Dennis has got it. He runs into some space. It's Watford 5, Palace 1. What a performance it has been. What this is world class, guys, to be fair, right? I know it looks easy, but if I bump this up to legendary... It's going to be straight up the opposite. I'll be the one getting absolutely smashed. But it's Watford 5, Palace 1. Dennis finds a gap, has a shot. Easy as you like. And, um, yeah, I've got it out on the left here. Is, uh, I don't know who that is. Mitchell it was. Plays it to Zaha, who's just come on the pitch. What a save that is from Ben Foster. Patrick Vieira is absolutely fuming. Here is Zaha again. He's going to... He's gonna, Whip it in. It's been cleared. But it's oh, it wasn't cleared enough. What an interception that was from. I think it was Truce to come again. What a game he's had. And um, Palace have got it. Sissoko's on a yellow. Silly, silly challenge. I don't know why I did that. But um, Hughes didn't even play, so Sissoko still had a better game. I don't know why I did it. It's probably because it's so hard. <laughs> but um, yeah, they've got it. 
another chance now. Look how wide open my defence is since he's got sent off. And it's Watford 5, Palace 2. Only a consolation, but with about five minutes to go, I don't know why I did it. I don't know why I got myself sent off. Um, but yeah, here it was. Just a gap, massive gap. As you know, I'm not very good at defending in FIFA, and the fact that I got that much of a gap after sending off. I can't afford to have sending offs at the back when my defence is that bad. But yeah, first goal in six matches that was. Palace have another chance here. He shot good save from Ben Foster. He should have travelled more there. I don't know why he shot from there. He had so much space. But it's finished. Watford 5, Crystal Palace 2. I'm glad to beat Palace. Very, very glad. Next up. There's a Leicester in the Carabao Cup. We're just going to quick sing it. We're playing our young team in this cup. And we only lost 5-4 in penalties. Jeez, we almost got to the semi-finals after beating Leicester. Anyway, next game, the episode's away against Wolves. Uh, on Boxing Day, as Emmanuel Dennis plays it to Sissoko, who has a shot. Good save from the keeper, but I feel like he should be scoring that. And Samuel's booked for uh, an earlier uh, incident in the game that he gave an advantage for. And uh, oh, Wolves have got it here. Ben Foster, brilliant save. Good block from Juice to come as well. Good, good defending that was for me. I'll, I'll pat on my back there. Yeah. Um, what for another chance through the defence, but a good save from the keeper. Doing well, he's been decent this game. I can't lie, and I didn't quite get the goal. How that went in, it was a P roller. Sissoko couldn't quite get there. And Raul, anyone, who else would it be but Raul Jimenez to make it 1 0 to Wolves? Oh, uh, I don't know. It was a P roller that I, I just couldn't get to. Here it was. He whipped it in, it was headed. Why did, why did I bring Foster that far out? I'm so sloppy in the defence, it's unreal. Wolves had it here, out on the left. Look how easy this is. It's a penalty. <laughs> Cabacelli's been sent off. I, I cannot wait to bring in Eric Dyer because look at this defence. Look at my defending. I had to switch it to a 4 4 run because, I mean, I couldn't afford to have one centre back when I'm what, one more down. I can't afford that. Now Jimenez steps up. Ben Foster, and I can't lie. I don't want to spoil it for you, but I am very good at saving penalties. He couldn't quite get it past Foster. And he keeps it a 1 0 look at that. Raul Jimenez, an informed striker. Brilliant save from Ben Foster. And uh, we've got it out on the right here. Can we. T uh, oh my gosh. He whips it in. He has a shot. Good save from Ruddy. I was about to say, can we take advantage? Advantage of that penalty is what I meant to say. There's a brilliant save from John Ruddy, to be fair. Um, and it's Hernandez again. Wolves. I think five at the back might be my weakness. They set up really well. And I just couldn't get it past the defence. He has a shot. Good save from Ruddy. And it's half time. Wolves won. Watford nil. I'm down to ten men. I'm in trouble here. Um, but we have it out on the right. It's Kiko Firmino. Couldn't get it past the defence. But I think that was Ozan Tufan who... Uh, he wins it back for Watford. It's Kiko Firmino. Runs at the defence. He's very quick in this game. He has a shot. And it's a good save from their keeper. Um, and what was... What was... Uh, is that Ngakia? I don't know what he was doing. I don't know what I was doing with Foster either. Wolves are 2-0 up. This was just a disaster of a game. I can't lie. It was a poor performance. It's 2-0. A, a gap in the defence. I don't know what I was doing with Foster. Really, Paul, just look at this. <laughs> An open goal. Complete open goal. 25 minutes to go. I'm 2 0 down. We've got 10 men. But um, I was going through the defence here. I had a shot with Saw. It's 2 1. Watford are back in it. It's not over yet. And uh, they have a corner here. They whip it in. It's a brilliant, brilliant save from Ben Foster. Or did it hit the bar? I'm not sure. We have a chance then. Just hit over the bar and I think that's the final whistle. Last chance and it's over. We actually got unlucky in the end, to be fair. Considering we had a red card to get back in the game and only lose 2-1. Last game of the episode, though, is at home against West Ham. Uh, obviously, Cabasale had to come out for um, 
uh, Serie Alta, but I, I remember that Eric Dyer will come in after this match for Tottenham in the next episode. So, yeah, we had it out on the right here. Kiko played it to Dennis, and inside four minutes, we bounce back from that Wolves result, and we make it 1-0. Brilliant play there. Kiko just used his place, pace into Dennis, who had a shot, and it's into the back of the net. Watford make it 1-0 just like that. He just ran past him with his pace, cut back. Dennis was in space and he put it pretty, kind of into an empty net there. Not an empty net, but it was very duck, tough to miss. West Ham come close here with a scare. Has a shot and it's over the bar. Uh, Cucho Hernandez has it one-on-one -on -one though. Can we make it 2-0? No, we have kind of end-to-end -end action this game, but we've just taken our chances. Cucho Hernandez, one-on-one, -on -one, and he pretty much just finishes it. Brilliant play from Watford. Uh, um, just found the gap. One on one. Kucho Hernandez has a shot. Easy as you like. West Ham, though, do come back. 38th minute. They make it 2 1. They had it out on the left. They cut inside. Had a shot. Ben Foster probably should be saving it, maybe. But, um, yeah. Here it is. And they're back, and they're back in the game just before half time. A good time to get a goal, I can't lie. They just had it out on the right. They just passed it, kept on passing it. It was kind of straight out Ben Foster there, but West Ham have a penalty here. Before half-time, this could be a perfect time to get an equaliser. They were 2-0 down about five minutes ago. They've now brought it back to 2 all. Poor defending from me. I know I didn't capture the penalty, uh, the, the, the challenge to get to the penalty, but he put it straight down the middle here, as you'll see. Oh... Kind of in the corner, but West Ham actually have a chance here before half time to make it 3 2. They were 2 0 down about five minutes ago, and they have a corner here. Oh my gosh, Wolves from 2 0 down in the second half. They have it. It's 3 2. For about 35 minutes in, it was 2 0. They've made it 3 2. Sloppy defending from me. They are 3 2 up. We were 2 0 up. Oh, my gosh. Here it is. So, they had it out on the right. Quite a poor ball, but he managed to get on to the end of it. Cross it in. He has a shot. Is that Declan Rice that scored it? I don't know. But it's 3-2, uh, it's and West Ham might make it 4-2 here. Remember, they were 2-0 down. He has a shot, and that's a brilliant save from Ben Foster. West Ham is just absolutely overloading me, on, uh, overloading me at this point. And uh, they have another chance here. West Ham... Cross it in. It's a good block, though, this time from William Trustekong, proving why uh, he should get in over Eric Dyer when he comes in. 69th minute. They have a corner. Going to whip it in. It's headed. Brilliant save from Ben Foster to keep us in it. And uh, we have a chance here. We equalise it. 3 all with just over 10 minutes to go. Cucho Hernandez. West Ham had the chance to wrap it up with a 4-2 win. We go down the other end. And we get a goal with Cucho Hernandez. Absolute scenes. He just had it out on the right. Cucho was unmarked back post. Brilliant header. Out of everyone to get a header, but he was unmarked. And it's, it's free all. And uh, we actually had another chance here. It's 4-3 from 3-2 down less than 10 minutes ago. We go off and get two goals. It's Emmanuel Dennis. Saar had it out on the right pretty much like last time. Crossed it in. And Dennis was pretty much impossible to miss. Watford 4, West Ham 3. And we may have just robbed West Ham to a victory here. Saar plays it to Dennis. Brilliant finish. Kind of hard to miss there, but West Ham might have one more chance here. They're playing around with it. It has a shot. It's a brilliant save and they just couldn't get past our defence. They're struggling here, West Ham. What a game this has been. He has a shot. They're just struggling. They just shoot from far out because they cannot get past the defence. And it's full time to an incredible game. It's Watford 4, West Ham 3. Next, uh, first game of next episode will be Tottenham away. Eric Dyer will be making his debut against his former club. Drop a like if you did enjoy it. Oh, and Truce to come be playing against his former club. Two centre-back partnerships. But um, what an episode it has been. Uh, we did lose to Wolves, but to bounce back and get that 
seven goal thriller win against uh, West Ham and the five to win against Palace, I'm more than happy with. We currently sit eleventh uh, tw- in the table, but yeah, drop a like if you did enjoy. Subscribe if you're new. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.